We are surrounded by angels. They are in our uh, art, in our culture, they're in our greeting cards and our Christmas ornaments. And many people who don't have uh, much of a particular faith commitment still have this idea that there is something watching over them, keeping an eye on them. One of the things that makes angels such an interesting story is because they are one of the ways that we tell ourselves, whatever we believe in a faith tradition, it's one of the ways that we tell ourselves that the universe is basically benign and that somebody somewhere is looking out for us even though it doesn't look like that very much. The pervasiveness of angels in our culture is interesting because in most faith traditions there's not a whole lot of information about angels. In the Hebrew Bible, in the Christian Bible, there's very little, although there are some appearances. There's much more in the Quran. Um, but we find that in almost every culture there are myths and stories about winged messengers. If you go to the British Museum, you'll see Mesopotamian uh, sculptures of uh, winged messengers from the gods, uh, guardians of uh, the king. So it's something that apparently is sort of hardwired into human consciousness, this idea that something stronger than us, wiser than us, is looking out for us. In our culture, we find a couple of different ways that people have used angels as powerful things in stories. Um, the most interesting to most people is the relationships between human beings and angels. The great film critic Roger Ebert used to say that we're most interested in angels when they fall for human beings. And in some of the most popular films uh, that I know of about angels, that's exactly the storyline. So in The Bishop's Wife with Loretta Young, Cary Grant, and David Niven, David Niven is this Episcopal bishop who has forgotten what it is to be in love with his wife. And Cary Grant is the angel who has come to sort of remind him. But because Cary Grant is Cary Grant, Loretta Young finds herself falling in love with him. This would be disastrous. It's not just cross racial, it's cross-species romance that we're talking about here. And uh, it's absolutely not the sort of thing that should be done. And in fact, many of the reviewers of the day, Bosley Crowther of the New York Times, took great offense at the idea that angels and human beings might fall in love. But the truth is, much of the uh, information that we have about angels, especially from the intertestamental literature, the Book of Enoch, for example, talks about how angels and human beings had children, and um, that is actually another pervasive myth that's entered into angel lore. The best-selling novel, Angelology, is about uh, these children of angels come to earth, uh, operating as this sort of secret society behind the scenes. And uh, that's one of the other sort of pervasive stories that, uh, that infiltrate our pop culture. The last thing about angels that's particularly interesting to me is that oftentimes in the literature and culture, especially the material culture we consume, angels have been turned into something sort of big-eyed, or they're babies, like Cupid. And this is almost the polar opposite of what we think we understand about angels from the different faith traditions. Uh, one of the Old Testament prophets talks about the six-winged seraphim before the throne of God, uh, so awful and imposing that one could scarcely put their eyes on them. And now mostly what they look like is anime, you know, with big eyes uh, that are turned into paperweights. I once dated a woman whose entire apartment was decorated with cutesy angels. And so one of the things that I think is important for us to think about when we think about these stories of angels is why it is we would want to domesticate them to such a degree. The conclusion that I came to in the book is that we like the idea that they are somehow at our service. Um, we have taken them from being these majestic and more powerful creatures that uh, serve something much greater than us and have turned them into these guardian angels that serve us and watch out for us. And that is a lovely thing to believe whether or not it's true.